is Lady Boulay and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments. And thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. Well, once again, common sense has been sacrificed in the black community in favor of something that makes absolutely no sense. So there is a rumor going around that Japan, the country of Japan, is offering $75,000 to black men to come to the country and impregnate their women to offset the low birth rate that not only Japan, but Asia and Europe are suffering. There is a low birth rate, low fertility rate in Asia and Europe. Pakistan is the only Asian country that has a sustainable birth rate. Africa is the only continent where they are not suffering low birth rates continent-wide. So the news that Asian countries are suffering low birth rates and are desperate to raise their birth rates has made the rounds of social media. Now, I don't know how black men got inserted into this, but this is what I have discovered. Here is a headline from Business Insider, why people in Japan are being paid to have babies. You notice the headline says, why people in Japan are being paid to have babies. So from the people inside Japan being paid to have more babies, that got social medialized and black men got brought into the mix. So here's another report from CNN that says a South Korean firm is offering to pay its workers $75,000 each time they have a baby. South Korea is paying its workers $75,000 each time they have a baby. And for anybody who might have a problem with context clues, the context says a South Korean firm. So unless you're working for a South Korean firm in South Korea, you're not being offered $75,000. So the content creator, Tasha K, got wind of this and decided to have a little fun with it. So here's her headline. Japan is in desperate need of more black men to sleep with their women. So you can imagine the kind of fun she had with it. I will put the link to her video in the comment section. But she had a real ball with it and there were people commenting saying, oh yes, they really want black men because they want to be taller and stronger. Well, that's not what the headlines are saying, and that's not anything that I was able to confirm. I looked for it, because I'm like, really? So my husband is the kind of person that's like, no, that ain't going to wash. I don't even see that happening. So I went looking for some evidence. I didn't find any evidence that anybody is offering black men $75,000 to impregnate their women. This sounds like something that came from some of these guys that sit up on these live streams for four and five hours just talking and talking all out and random and just making up stuff as they go along because they don't have anything of substance prepared to talk about to, to their audience. Once they finish talking about sports and black women and how awful black women are and how black men ought to try to get out of paying child support, they don't have anything else to talk about. So they're just making up stuff. So I want to make two points before I end this video. Number one, white supremacy is a worldwide system. All of these countries, European and Asian countries, participate in white supremacy. And all white supremacy is is that white is supreme. So in the Asian countries, they elevate whiteness. And obviously the European and America, whiteness rules. So there is no reason to believe that a country like Japan or South Korea would want their population to be darker. 
They don't even like the darker people in their own country. So they're not going to be importing men in to impregnate their women to make a darker population. If anything, they will be offering white men, white American men, the $75,000 to impregnate their women. That's how obsessive people are about whiteness and the supremacy of whiteness. That's number one. Number two, $75,000 is not that much money. No self-respecting black man who could think would consider $75,000 to be anything but robbery for his sperm because he ought to think something about his sperm. And he ought to think if somebody wants it, they're going to pay me more than $75,000. Matter of fact, if somebody wants the black man's sperm, the black man should set the price. So no self-respecting black man would even consider moving to the other side of town for $75,000, let alone picking up, going to a foreign country where you don't even speak the language, you don't even understand the culture, and you don't even know how much it's going to cost you to live there, even if you're just going there for six months, or however long it would take you to impregnate however many women they wanted you to impregnate because they're not going to ship you over there just to impregnate one woman. So, I mean, thinking is a real skill, and self-respect is a virtue. So, before people jump on these kind of idiotic schemes and scams like this, you need to think. Even if you would be willing to sell out for $75,000, because the only person who would jump on something like that would be somebody that's homeless. And Tasha K said they were one of the immigrants anyway. So, <laughs> You just have to hear what she had to say to really appreciate it. But anyway, no self-respecting black man would consider $75,000 enough money to relocate to a place that he doesn't know anything about to exchange his body fluids for somebody that he doesn't even know. I mean, people need to stop falling for foolishness. Now, that's just how I see it. But let me know what you think about it. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video, and as always, have a great day.